to spend a few minutes talking about um, some resources that you're going to have access to. This one in particular is called the Inquiry um, Document for Integrity Capital for the Loan Associate, um, where you will log all of your new opportunities or what we call internally new inquiries. So this will be um, something we utilize through Google Docs at this present time that may change in the future, but for now um, we'll give you access to this document um, and let me walk you through it a little bit. So up here on the left you'll see um, the very first thing every single time that you get a new opportunity and in inquiry again as we mentioned in some of the other training forms is any request that either the borrower directly makes or indirectly through a referral source uh, requests for you concerning a new loan. That's an inquiry. So any of those gets logged in here. Um, the, the information you'll log uh, will be the date requested. That's really important uh, because, and the reason why that's important is because anything in this section of your inquiries we call IMQ, um, can only stay in here for a week and what we mean by that is once everything gets logged in we are going to be requesting documents from this particular individual uh, borrower or borrowers in order to see if we can move it forward to what we eventually call a QL or qualified lead uh, through our process. The uh, um, If we're not getting information within five business days then this gets kicked out into the dead deals section and I'll walk through that in a little bit but that's important to really understand because if someone's not getting information a week there's just not a high sense of urgency there might be in the future but we want to make sure that um, things that are in the pipeline are ones where you have, you're starting to see high urgency so that's one of our tactical elements we walk through so uh, really important that um, you log all this information. The next thing over is deal name. Uh, we can use anything from that will help remind you. So 12 units, Colorado refinance, um, you know, XYZ purchase, um, you know, assisted living facility, state, you know, anything that's going to remind you of, okay, that's the, the deal. Uh, you put the borrower name. Um, you don't, you're not going to put the entity, you're just going to put the individual and their name um, because you're going to be referencing and contacting that person. Might be unknown, you might not know yet. That's okay, just put that in there. Um, and then the referral source, uh, which is, uh, you know, the person that referred it or the marketing thing that you used. Um, you just want to make sure you track that so you can go back and reference it. Uh, to make sure that you know this is if this is a prime area for you uh, to get deals, the loan amount obviously pretty self-explanatory. How much are they requesting? Um, the fee amount is typically we just put in there about one percent of the loan amount. Just so you are aware, our minimum fee is seventy-five hundred dollars. We don't we we won't do a deal under that because we've tracked it and that's just our cost. Um, so it's it's not profitable for the amount of hours that we put into it to, to do anything less than that. Um, so any deal, if it falls below, you know, if it's a five hundred thousand dollar loan, that's okay. But we just have to have a seventy five hundred dollar fee. So it's important that you communicate that with borrowers up front so they understand the expectations. Um, the amount of deals they're requesting could be one, usually maybe two, three. You just want to notate that. Um, the property type, um, is it apartment, office, retail, medical office, assisted living, self-storage. So whatever the asset type is, could be owner-occupied, um, uh, triple net, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but uh, you just want to make sure that uh, that is you know, notated in there. And then notes here to the right, which eventually will be a little bit different um, when you close a loan. But, you know, need to get the information, requested information, just something that uh, you can be aware of. Um, 
Down here you'll notice all of these metrics that are really important. Uh, you want to track <clears throat> how many touches cumulatively that you've done here um, so that you could start tracking your ratios. So a touch again is any external request for marketing that you're doing in order to with a motivation to generate uh, new opportunities. That's what's a touch is requested. So any kind of networking, uh, discussions you're having with people uh, that that really is with the intention of generating opportunities. You may, may not be talking about new loans, but you're meeting with them with the intention of, of getting opportunities. So that's a touch. Um, what we're tracking here is percentages of total inquiries to total touches. I can tell you right now it's usually about 25 percent so um, for every you know 10 calls you make you're gonna get two and a half um, you know opportunities typically that's generally the case um, the calls to inquiry touch usually again that could be 25 percent uh, ish um, and uh, um, and so we want to just track those calls you know to touches to inquiries um, you want to log your total inquiries how many did you get uh, in cumulative again these are cumulative numbers in total we'll probably track from a time period from when you start to, for a year time so we have enough data uh, total convert so how many converted to a qualified lead slash a new opportunity, a new, new loan? Um, total closed. So this is how many actually funded uh, for you. So again, you can see percentage of closed inquiries. So we want to see what that percentage is. I can tell you right now that um, it's usually about 4 to 5%. Um, so that's just it might seem low to you, but that's just normal. That's why we need to talk to a lot of people. That could change over time as you build a book, but um, that's just a ratio we want to know. And then QL to funding. So when it converts to a qualified lead, what percentage will fund? And I can tell you right now it's about 90%. It's usually about a 10% fallout. The reason why is because it's um, um T typically speaking, you know, the deal could have somebody go and pull out of a deal. Um, it, it's usually generally 95% of the time has nothing to do with us, just um, some things happen. Um, so that's kind of the inquiries. You're going to use this every day. Uh, so this is really, you're going to be your home base. You're going to spend a lot of time here just sifting through your opportunities. Um, once you, if they get kicked out of here into dead, you're always going to log it in the Salesforce database um, to have a follow up if it's necessary, because um, th those will become your ticklers. Um, we talked about that in another one, just what ticklers are. Dead deals is the next section, so you'll it, you'll move it from here down to here and highlight it red. By the way, yellow up here means that we've made the request, but we don't have documentation. When you highlight it to orange, that means that we have the information. We've started to collect documents. It just helps you keep track of things um, as we go down. Dead deals, obviously you're going to scroll over here and uh, it's you're going to put the reason why it uh, didn't close. Okay, Really important. Uh, we have a lot of different ones. Typically, it's nothing came together. Um, that's one category that we'll talk through. Character issue. Um, no response is another one. Um, not in our wheelhouse. Could be a residential request. Um, uh, there's um, some other ones in there, too, that we'll walk through. But, but generally, you want to really know why did this not come together. Um, nothing came together is something we typically utilize when they haven't gotten this documentation. So we just make a note of that. 
as well to the right to have some additional notes just to make sure that we're we're keeping track of it. Okay, deals converted. Um, this is when something converts to a QL, and we'll walk through that in a different video. But same information we're tracking up here, but this is when it actually converts. You put it down here, uh, and then we're, we'll have a different uh, video on, on QL section. You'll log it. And then we know that, you know, these are the things that you're tracking that get converted over to the loan processor. So this is kind of your inquiry central hub section. It's real important that you become familiar with it because uh, you're going to use it a lot. And then we'll keep doing training and refining, et cetera, as we, uh, as we go forward. So that is officially the training. It was just that.